a prima ballerina of the famed Bolshoi Ballet. This war was started by Russia. Olga Smirnova openly opposes Russia's invasion of Ukraine. She'll now dance with a company in the Netherlands so she can speak freely. If I need to speak what I think is right to speak, and if I need to leave the country for that, I will leave the country. Since the invasion, Russian celebrities and athletes have been under pressure internationally to denounce Vladimir Putin. Please, no more war. At the beginning, Alexander Ovechkin, one of Russia's most high-profile athletes, called for peace, but wouldn't call out Putin. There are reports he declined to remove this picture of the two from his Instagram account, fearing reprisal. Said, like, I'm not in politics, like, I'm an athlete. I think it's highly unlikely um, that something like that trigger any kind of retaliation against his family. Russia expert Jeff Sahadeo says Putin wouldn't likely risk a PR battle with a star like Ovechkin, unless he became outspoken. Putin doesn't want to fight that battle because he doesn't want to draw attention to anything that goes against his narrative. Still some chilling precedents. Last year, New York Rangers star Artemi Panarin was charged with assault in Russia. The Rangers publicly said the incident was fabricated and called it intimidation for speaking out against Putin. And what you're seeing are some very general anti-war statements, like this Instagram post from Calgary Flames defenseman Nikita Zadarov, or this from tennis player Andrei Rublev. Nothing is important that much as to have a peace and everyone healthy. Ukrainian tennis player Marta Kostik says it doesn't go far enough. You don't have to be into politics or into deep stuff to to just be a human being. For Smirnova and other Russians, the stakes of speaking out are only getting higher, with the Kremlin warning of prison sentences of up to 15 years. Cameron McIntosh, CBC News, Winnipeg.